The book is called Legacy of Secrecy, and after all these years, an author says he found a declassified document that shows Lee Harvey Oswald did not act alone when he assassinated John F. Kennedy in 1963. You have to conclude that there was a fourth shot and a second rifle. Directors like Oliver Stone have produced movies about it. I never met anybody named Oswald. Authors have written hundreds of books on it. Now, another new book, claiming government documents say a mafia crime boss confessed, yes, confessed, to ordering the assassination of President John F. Kennedy. These are not just casual remarks made by an aging godfather when he was in prison. Lamar Waldron is co-author of Legacy of Secrecy. Waldron says Carlos Marcello ordered the assassination in retaliation for Kennedy cracking down on organized crime. And Waldron says a National Archive record proves his claim. Buried within millions of pages of files declassified by the FBI 10 years ago, he says are details of Marcello's alleged confession to an undercover informant in 1985. It was one time when he just went off on a tirade against the Kennedys that he let slip to the FBI informant that, that yeah, I had the SOB killed. I'm glad I did it. You know, I, I'm sorry I couldn't have done it myself. The official report on Kennedy's assassination released in 1964 by the Warren Commission found Lee Harvey Oswald acted alone. Three other government investigations have since concluded the same. Vincent Bugliosi has studied the Kennedy assassination. His book, Reclaiming History, also backs the commission's findings. As for Waldron's findings? If I could categorize it in a couple words, sublime silliness, there's no merit to this. Carlos Marcello was investigated in the 1970s by the House Select Committee on Assassinations, which found he did have, quote, the motive, means, and opportunity to have President John F. Kennedy assassinated, but concluded they could not establish direct evidence of his involvement. Hundreds upon hundreds of people had motive, means, and opportunity. The seminal question is, did he do it? And that's where you have to come up with evidence. But Waldron says the now declassified documents speak for themselves. Well, as for Carlos Marcello, he died in 1993. Waldron says the record shows Marcello also talked about how Jack Ruby, the man who shot Lee Harvey Oswald, was also, quote, his man. The FBI still has hundreds of hours of FBI tapes that to date have not been released. So is this just another conspiracy theory or is this something they can actually try to investigate and authenticate? Well, well, here's the deal. I mean, it is just another theory to some, but Waldron would argue that this FBI informant was, was credible. He was someone who worked with the FBI for years. Then again, you've got some of those uh, critics on the other side who say, you know, this is just another one of these uh, theories that are out there. We're sure to get a lot more of these theories maybe someday when, when these FBI tapes are finally released.